Hey, Heartbreakers! I'm back with another episode with Steph Mee. Steph is a golf and sports influencer, right? Wow, and you were on House of Heat. House of Heat. That's with Tubi, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, just I'm very curious. We, uh, what, we're on episode eight. So are you, you're, not, you're not currently filming it. You had no. previously filmed it, and now it's out. Mm -hmm, now it's nice. out. Nice. Um, and it's... Have you ever seen Real World? Well, you know what? I saw the trailer. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, and I know it's like, okay. Whoa. After we discuss things, you're going to be like, okay, I'm going <laughs> to run to my TV and watch this. But like, I try to explain it the best I can when people are like, I've seen TikToks and, and videos on Instagram. People are like, what's the challenge? What's the prize? I'm like, am I allowed to swear? Yeah, right? <laughs> okay. there's, there's swearing allowed, no, I think. Yeah, we'll I'm just bleep it if not. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> I'm like, listen, you idiots. <laughs> like, not everything's a challenge. There's not always a reward. Like, let's go back to the old school, like, reality, reality shows yeah. when people were shoved in a house. Not forced, but, like, we chose to be there. We were shoved in a house. And we literally, like, just are in a house dealing with each other. Like, it's, so like, that real world, but on crack. So that's the rundown. It's it's OF models, right? So our common but denominator is, is OF, for sure. Okay. Um, but we're all creators of all sorts of every avenue you know some people do youtube a, a lot of us do a lot of the same things but yes our common denominator is only fans for sure but we're all different kinds implied uh, um uh, explicit uh mm -hmm. everything you can think of under the sun so then what are you supposed to be doing you're just supposed to live in the house and then just see what so happens you, you haven't or... seen real world I have, you but have. It, it, like, it's like forever, that. We're like, forever, and then though. we're supposed to. We're not supposed to be doing anything. We, we are. That was my my show. I don't know about you guys, but that was the shit. That was like literally <laughs> yeah. everyone's show. So <laughs> that's how I was like almost introduced, like what the show was about. It's the first season, so no one knew what to do. No one knew anything. There was no background to it. We just were thrown in a house, and we just live. Like we just have. Food. Uh, I mean, it was like living you with just really have food. food. I'm just like, that's what we can think of. I'm like, I wake up do and there's food. <laughs> I do have a bed. I'm the only one in the house that has, um, I actually showed up second. I'm the only one in the house that has their own room. Oh, so people have to share rooms? Yeah. Oh, hell no. Oh, I know. So I thought I can't that, do that. But, you know, like a lot of other people are like, oh, and this is going to be terrible. We have to share bathrooms. We have to share this. I'm the only one in the house that, luckily, I show up second to the house and mm -hmm. um, I'm a mom. And I have to, you know, I like to get on my FaceTime calls with my daughter. I like, I How have old's your mom. Daughter? She's four. Oh, okay. So yeah. she's young. Yeah. Yeah. No, she's that's young. Important. Yeah. So it was really important. Like, I didn't want like a drinking and drama in my room with another room, mm -hmm. you know, like I want to be able to sit there and like talk to her and call her and stuff. So I was like, thank goodness I have my own room. I did not have my own bathroom. Everyone had to. <sighs> What's so. more important? You think your own bathroom or your own room? I'd say own bathroom, but that's just you know, my... I wanted to say my own bathroom. And uh, at first I was like, well, I mean, not everyone had their own bathroom. There was, it was shared. So you had to walk through doors. Bathrooms are center of everyone's room. So you had to walk through rooms to get to the bathroom. The first floor was a shared bathroom. The second floor is another shared bathroom. So two bathrooms. That's in it? the house. Well, yes. <laughs> and how many people? Uh, nine. No nine way. To nine. No yeah. way. Are you allowed to go home if you want to? Or you have to stay at the house? You the have to. You, you, Damn. You're required to stay at the house. So. For how many days? We were there for, it was pushing like three were. months. No pushing, way. Right? Yeah, it was pushing like three months. Yeah. We didn't know. No one knew because there was never a show like this, yeah. you know? So no one, even producers, like everything, we didn't know. We we're just kind of playing by ear on how things were going to go. If it was like, what if it was boring for four weeks, you know? Oh my God. What would the you first do? day I was like, fuck, this is not going to be fucking boring. Is this for real? This Is is this scripted? Is this like, you know, it's not scripted. There girl. was tons of it's, alcohol, I'm guessing. Like everybody every, was drunk. I think there was more alcohol than food. Yeah, you know? that's what they do. That's what I say, I think, but I just like would just see alcohol all the time. Um, I'm not a huge drinker. I just, mm -hmm. um, one, I get Asian glow. Okay. It's a thing. It's like that's when the skin gets red thank a little you. bit. Yes, right. I get that when I drink wine. Okay, so yeah. we take like a Pepsi or a, um, an acid, anything that's like a Zantac or something mm, to help with the glow. But you can't do that every day, so yeah, I no. can't drink every day. Actually, wow. But that yeah, sucks. I love to drink every day. I'm just <laughs> I love my glasses of wine. Don't get me wrong. I love all that. Um, but yeah, there's there is definitely a lot of alcohol. Just a lot of fucking drama. drama. I can't. I'm gonna watch it. Unscripted fucking drama. I'm gonna watch and it. Girl, I can't let me wait. just tell you these next few episodes. You're gonna love. Okay, me. I gotta you're gonna catch love up. Me, no pun intended. I gotta catch gonna, up if you're, you're on love me. episode eight, right? 
Yeah, yeah. We're on episode eight. Yeah, I'll watch. I'll binge watch it all in one day. Yeah, you I'm can't good do with that. that. And we actually come out like week by week. So okay. usually, I think I don't know. Actually, I'm, I'm not a big reality show watcher. But you wouldn't be on another one. Would I be on another a reality show? Like, if you could pick any reality show right now, would you be on another? I can't tell you what reality shows are out there. <laughs> oh, because you don't watch. Them. I don't really yeah. watch it. Okay, but this you I actually be, like. You know what not Love is Blind is n- not really. No, I think stop it. One of our castmates That's was the, like, on that. No, I'm just kidding. I'm making that okay. up. See, right. I don't know. Never mind. <laughs> we don't want to. We don't want to get in trouble. Say the wrong thing. <laughs> no, he's gone now. So like, I can talk about him. But um, uh, I thought he was on Love. Too hot, hot to handle. handle. Okay, yeah, that that's, the same see, that's thing. another one. That's the same thing, no? It's like the same No, too scenario. hot to handle is when, like, you gotta just have sex with each other. You can't stop yourself. And oh. then love is blind. Like, there's, like, you can't see the person until you agree to marry them. And then you see what they finally look like. Marry? Yes. They actually get married? Some of them don't Why because they, they like, get the engaged. The normal shows, like, Bachelorette and Bachelor. I know, stuff. but those like, get boring. Oh, they're boring. Okay. Yeah, those you get really boring. I never got into their shows the, either. either um i tried but, to watch the golden bachelor it was like Wah, whatever so you love golf yeah i do i, I want to start golfing you want to teach me i've actually been trying to find a coach Stop. and there's a right um close to me because i've been looking at golf places there's like a public one and like whatever and i really that's like been my goal this year is to start golfing you totally should especially now and i tell this to women all the time that there is no, not really many females in golf. The best thing about golf and being a female is you don't actually have to be good. Yeah. Even a male. Like, you know, well, can't you just golf by yourself? You don't have yeah, to, to be you can, around. You, like... Yeah, it's, there's no teams. It's yeah. just you, you know, your own self. I started two years ago. Two oh, years okay. ago. Okay, so that's kind of new. So I'm, not, I'm not good at all. I, I, make, I even post like my bad everything. I usually post wow. the worst of the worst because would, it's you funny. You look like he would be good. Like no, you're I have very good form. Fit and... I, have, I have good, like I have a coach. I have all that stuff. But no, I'm not. I'm shit. I wish I could say that I was good, but because I'm I very think competitive. you're better than you think. Yes, I'm better. No, I'm not that good. <laughs> yeah. Girl, no, I'm not that on. good. But you I've can't... only been doing it for two years. Yeah. Um, you have to golf almost every. People practice every single day. Men like. You will become obsessed once no, you understand. No, I know because you know what? I know this is not really the same, but I love Top Golf. Like when a guy invites no, yeah. me out, I'm like, "Can we go to Top Golf?" Like I always yeah, suggest that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm actually a member at um, Calabasas Country Club, so come, nice. come. You know, I tried to join that country club. I think it's that one, but they were trying to charge me like three hundred thousand for the year. Oh yeah, so. I have a little in. I was like, I a little in. <laughs> let me know the in because I wasn't going to pay that. Like, yeah. I was like, well, now I'll go into debt just trying to be yeah, a part no, of a country no, I have club. a little in. So if you need a little help. Yes, little, yeah. please. I really yeah. do. Mm-hmm. I really do. Whatever. Yeah. So are you good. single right now? I am just doing my thing. So does that mean single? That means... Or... <laughs> that means... You have, you have a situation you have a situation yeah that's nice i love situationships yeah, yeah what's your worst and best date you know that sounds so sad i couldn't tell you how many don't times don't say the last time you've been on a date i had okay i know the last time i went on a date and it was really amazing it okay. was one of the most refreshing dates ever what did you do uh grab sushi we just That's grabbed it? sushi yeah and That's it, nice a nice chill it was like... just and i said that because i was like listen i'm a fucking in and out girl mm-hmm. you know you can mm. take me to like i'm not like mm-hmm. bougie i, love I look bougie but like this is all front yeah um yeah <laughs> give me some give me something that'll make my stomach hurt okay? yeah right you know like and i have to run some home. fast food and... <laughs> yeah so i don't have to like try to be like oh i don't want to go to your house right now i'm gonna go to my house you yeah know? I just had in and out. Sorry, Sorry gotta be gotta alone use the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I need my alone time, and it's not with my toy. It's with yeah. my potty. Yeah, <laughs> my um, potty. So... That was such a mom comment. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, here's me swearing, and then I use like words like potty instead yeah. of toilet. But um, that last date was very refreshing. Um, you don't have a bad date like that. Uh, you would never like. I'm very like unfiltered and transparent. So I'm just tr- trying to think like of a bad day. I don't think I've gone on that many dates to have a bad yeah. day. I've had just mediocre, like, ugh, get me out of the situation and mm-hmm. like texting my friend, call me, pretend like something's oh, yeah, happening. Oh I love doing that. But at this point in my life, I'm like, I don't need to fake anything for anyone. And you have a so, kid, like you yeah, can't like don't be wasting shit. Like time. don't waste my fucking time because I could be spending it with my daughter. So yeah, don't waste absolutely. my time. Um, I just, I'm at the point in my life, I just am so unfiltered. I'm like, 
this is not going as expected. So. Do you say that to their face? Um, I want to say it's so harsh. Unless they were being like nasty or something. I'm like, this is a terrible day, you know? I just yeah. can't think of a... And then you just walk out. I would, just walk, like... I would just walk out. I would pay for my own my own food and wow. walk out. Just to degrade them. I like that. Yeah, it's such a... That's yes, what, I like being really a little alpha. I love like, doing that. You're a pansy and I'm going to go pay for my own food. Not I love yours, doing mine. That. Yeah. I love doing that when a guy takes me on a date and, I'm, and I'll pull my card out too and I'll be like, oh, yeah, Maybe I always pull my card. If you're, to, if you're trying to pay or not, I'm not sure. Yeah, then, I will whip out the card. I'm more than happy to pay for yeah. my own food. I'll whip out my card. But it if you don't whip out them. your card, if you don't whip out yours, oh, I'm that, like, has that happened where someone hasn't pulled their no. card? Oh, I was about oh, to that's say, happened, what the I would heck? definitely talk about that experience, but that's never happened. <laughs> but I always whip out my card, always. Yeah, I, just I do just as like a... a I know that they're going to offer to be like, no, no, I got it. Yeah. But I do it as like a power trip. Like yeah. I'm, I'm really big on power trips yes, just so they know. Me too. What's up. Yeah. And that like, they I'm can't. not a broke bitch. Like I, mm -hmm. I can afford my food, but also you need to be a gentleman. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. I, yeah. I've never had a guy that's let me pay. I don't think anyways. If you're taking a guy shopping. Have I ever? I've taken a guy shopping once. It's not as, like, not in a relationship. <laughs> like, just a oh, random okay. guy. This, I was in a relationship with a guy. Oh, so yes. I, yes. Not, oh, I, yeah. I always joke, too. I'm like, I just want a sugar baby. <laughs> oh, I love having little sugar babies. Because it feels like, I don't know if it's, like, the alpha in us or, like, a I like dom thing or, like, I know I'm talking, like, people are, like, sugar. They get it confused. I'm like, no, I want to be the sugar mama. Mm -hmm. And, like. They love it. They get yeah. obsessed when you're their sugar mama. I just do that with every man. Sometimes a little too much. Mm -hmm. It's like rewarding. It's like a rewarding thing or something. What yeah. is it? It's when like are you born? I hate when people do this, but <laughs> I feel like you're an Aries. No. Oh. <laughs> no. See, I should, I should have went Scorpio? with them. Like, yeah, I am actually. Scorpio? Yeah. You no, are? No, oh. I'm a Gemini. Oh, yeah, duh. <laughs> Duh. What I don't know that, that, that one like what does that force. mean every gemini is like so dominant like oh. just so aggressive so dominant because that's yeah. june right yeah june 1st but, marilyn oh, Monroe nice. you know birthday. people very special people are born in the first, first i'm um, september 1st if you, it's actually like a thing if you Numbers, look it up yeah. people that are born in the first tend to be like dominant and leaders and like people like that are more. very like Turn me you on. Know, <laughs> people born on the 23rd typically tend to be like attractive people. Oh, it's like a thing. Okay. Look it up. So I wasn't, yeah. I wasn't born on the 23rd, <laughs> but like I know the first. We're hot as fuck. We're alphas. We yeah. are successful. Yeah, they Do you tend want to, to be name very everything about myself. Like, yeah, that's, but it's true. It's, yeah, they tend to be like dominant people. Yeah, wow. Not, yeah, I don't meet m many people born on the first. My mom's also born on the first. Though, really? So, yeah. Wow. And she's very. Alpha. I don't meet. Actually, I don't meet many people born on the first either. Mm. I think. I I don't think I know anyone born on the first. Besides me, girl. You yeah, forgot about you me. Now, you know. <laughs> Don't change the subject, just answer the fucking question. What the fuck is this piece of shit? All right, so we love to do hot topics, and I really like this one. It's a quick guide to love bombing for people oh, in a God, hurry. Love bomb. oh. You love love bombing? No. Is that what you said? I said oh, oh, I was going to say love dreams. Bombing. Ugh. Okay, Vogue has recently published a full write-up on what exactly love bombing is and its modern-day effects on dating scenes. Have you been love bombed? Yeah. Yeah, how many Great times? Time. Once. One time. Oh, wow. Okay. So not that many. But I never mm -hmm. experienced it before. So I was like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. Like, what is this? And it, then I discovered the word. I was like, oh. Yeah. Oh. It's scary, right? It's like a narcissist thing. It is. Most of us are no longer strangers to having a new partner love bomb us. It's such a modern day thing. Plastered all over social media, people are calling out love bombing as a bad thing, saying that it shows red flags that your new partner is manipulative. I agree. Um, you know, let me keep reading. They love putting a lot of bullet points. <laughs> Too many. Is love bombing a positive or negative thing? Does it depend on the person and their motives in the relationship? And what can we do to be careful with like love bombing? Um, does it like describe who somebody really is? If they're really manipulative, what are they trying to get from you? Are they just a hopeless romantic? Like, do you think that in a way love bombing can be a good thing? Like, what are your thoughts? You said you've been love bombed. Love bombing is terrible. I feel like there needs there needs to be a window because I'm reading through this and they're not saying like, is love bombing 
within like the first couple of days of meeting someone is love bombing in the first couple of months like what's an appropriate time to tell all, someone it's that, all relative but like i think the first date everyone's putting on a front and a in a little way yeah. right? a little sprinkle with a front when, um, when you were love bombed how soon did they tell you did they tell me i, I was love they don't say that they're love bombing well no i know but when was like the first time that they like how i think when you start to realize them? like things are changing like characteristics and then oh. like certain behaviors and so you and never had manner. someone like say like in the first couple of weeks like i love you like right away absolutely but like there's a lot of things that go behind love bombing it's not not yeah. just i love you it's like this let's get facade, married this charisma like it's not just one thing there's so many properties i guess you can say that go behind love bombing and you don't even realize it until you realize everything just changes one day mm-hmm. and you're like oh is what what's happening right now like is this borderline personality like mm-hmm. what is this like a like it like i was gonna <laughs> say that I think movie it <laughs> multiple <yeah>. personalities <laughs> like i'm like am i feeling oh, with, you're like, talking these, about um what split split, split? split? Yeah, split. Oh, whatever. that was scary split. i like I that movie though letters but yeah yeah, no, I think love bombing is like a very serious thing. It's more and more. I can't. I've never not been love bombed. I realize that every relationship has been love bombing and like manipulative. I've never had a guy in an appropriate time frame tell me that they love me. It's always like in the first couple of Too weeks soon. or it's after they've done something wrong and I'm just not into it anymore. And I'm like, listen, like you've done this in like the early stages and it comes in with, the, I just want to tell you that I love you. <laughs> and you're like, oh, I love you. Like yeah, you really say it back and like, oh. Well, yeah, you feel like pressured. I love you too, but like, fuck them. Like, we're yeah. too. Okay. No, I'm I just think kidding. it is a personality um, issue. It's a personality issue. I think it's like, uh, yeah, there's all different kinds of personality disorders, and it's definitely like uh, gives me a little. BPD, borderline personality disorder, for sure. Yeah. Um, I, it's scary. It's super scary. But you know what it is? It's social media. Mm-hmm. It's social media. You go back 10 years ago, no one ha- no one had these issues. People were together for longer Long than what it is now. And people talk about this all the time. They're like, well, people are more mil- willing now to speak up and, and say things because like it's not traditional anymore. I was like, but also there's so many variables and factors that go into that. And 10 years ago, like we didn't have these distractions we had distractions and we were probably like wow my space wow Facebook. yeah but no love it's my like space i miss fucking, it i know i know <laughs> my top my top four was the shit yeah my space tom i'm trying to golf with my space tom but anyways as a playboy bunny background that was <laughs> oh flashy. did you of yeah. course of course uh, the glittery ones <laughs> yes. yeah you knew the codes we knew how to fucking code okay yeah. um but i i digress but um like we literally have an app for fucking everything for fucking literally well yeah <laughs> one of the hot topics is about tokyo and how the governments are going to be the ones to oversee their tinder like there's no longer like taking away love bombing is it illegal (laughs) yeah (laughs) well like that's another thing it's like the apps and stuff like that like it's they're literally saying how 70 percent of people you know they want a partner but they are making sure that people are actually single on there that their motives are actually pure and that they really like yeah and i think it's great but i think it's weird but i think it becomes from it comes from the love bombing and the social media like just people go so crazy they think that they have access to everything in the palm of their hands and then they just get rid of it and then they just are like well love bomb love bomb maybe they're maybe their genuine pure intentions from the beginning aren't to love bomb and then they just pick out their phone these men just pick out their phone and they're like well she's hot i know i can get this girl and then the love bombing is a bomb you, they don't even realize they blew it up and it's a grenade yeah. and it's fucking love like that. yeah that's you know so like it's just like full it fucking access and I think that's what it is. They're addicted. They're addicted to this. You think they really feel like they mean it when they say it or because I feel like they think that women we want to be like they're like women want to be loved so hard and so like quick and they want to be married right away. And then they they're like, let me just tell her what she wants to hear. Do you think they are like, man, this girl's so cool. She's fading away. I I love her. I think a lot of men don't know what love is. Yeah. And so then when they say I love you and they show this romantic side so fast so soon is because men do fall hard in the beginning. Women don't. Women take their time. Mm -hmm. Women are like, yeah, I really like him. We get invested in enjoying and growing. Most women, I'm not speaking for all, I'm not speaking for most men, but like, you know, majority, um, they take, we take our time. We like Mm -hmm. to just savor the moments and stuff like that. Men fall in love faster than women, but women's love stays longer than Mm -hmm. men. And so I don't think it's on purpose, but I think it's starting to become on purpose because because of the access that 
we all have in the palm of our hands you yeah. know so i just think it's like it become such a norm i hate when you're love bombed during sex yeah i was yeah and you're love you get yeah, real scared because they're looking in your eyes and you're like, oh, oh, oh I was no. love bomb during talking sex. right now. Don't be right now. Oh, that was God. me. I was a victim of that. And you never told someone you love them during sex? Me? Yeah. First I haven't. Initial? I haven't. Me, no. I've like, never someone's done it in told general. me that during sex. It scared you, right? I was like, when did you find the rhythm to like find a pause in between and take a breather and say, I love you? I love you. And full, the full three words, like, you thought that it was, wasn't just you a love thought that was, was important a, than oh, my I orgasm right now. You yeah. thought that was way more important because you just found a gap in between the, the thrusting and the rhythm and like, I love you. I'm like, what if that was my orgasm? What if You're I so said selfish. that to you that you would get up and run away? That's what they would do. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, imagine a man climaxing, getting ready oh, to climax. I love, I love you. I would destroy <laughs> his his climax. I would destroy his cum. You know, I'm going to start Bucked doing up. that. I'm we really should start, start doing, doing that. that. We like, should really start doing scare that. scare them and yeah. be like, there's been days where I'm like, what if I just like acted one day? Like I acted the way these men act, like just very obsessive, like all over them. Like what if I really scared the fuck out of them like they do to me? How would they react instead of being chill? Men, a man would call you a psychopath. Yes, absolutely. If we acted exactly how they men- They say that even if I just sit here and don't say if anything. If you don't say anything. Her and then eyes look like a psychopath, bro. <laughs> she looks like a psychopath, yeah. I know, so even if we don't say anything, we're a psychopath. If we respond to their sh bullshit, we're a psycho. I'm like, mm -hmm. do you realize what created women into creating like these monsters? These monsters, so to speak, us monsters. You, men, you yeah. did this. You did this to us. Whatever. They're screw them. No, I love, don't I've, screw them, but screw them at the same yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> Get rid of them. <laughs> All right. So Cosmopolitan magazine is saying that breaking up with someone over text is like, okay. In oh, this God. generation, it's they're saying nice. it's okay. What do you think? It says breaking up with someone is always hard and doing it over text is considered one of the worst ways to do it. However, recently, they're saying that it's better to be able to hide and not break down in front of the person if you're the dumpy and avoids the awkward situation for the dumper. I get Added it. Added benefits gives the dumper a record of their breakup if things get messy in the aftermath. You can set the terms of your breakup, you know, as you remove the party, the person, if things turn worse, then, you know, you could just break con contact easily with them. I agree with I think I agree too. That's, yeah, I agree. That's <laughs> my generation. So... That's my generation. No, I though. agree with all the pros to that is what I'm saying. I agree that like, yeah, you have record of everything. You have conversation. And we're speaking on, you know, a female telling a man that we're breaking up with yeah, them. Yeah. Not vice versa. Yeah. So some men don't take breakups that well. They can go crazy and They do. They do go crazy. And so I like it. On that standpoint, yes. In a text to feel safe and have everything and, and boundaries and, and proof and stuff like that, sure. Do I agree with it fully? No. One, I'm, I'm a very alpha, powerful woman, and I like to look at someone in their eyes and give them the fucking death stare because clearly I'm breaking up with you for a fucking reason, and mm -hmm. I, want, I want them to feel it, See? like the pain in their eyes fucking soul if someone's gonna break up with me i'd rather them do it through text so i can just click out of it and be like ah, and then move <laughs> on I, I don't want it face to face because i could see how like yeah like i don't want that but say you're in a five-year seven-year relationship it's not appropriate to break up with the person over text. for sure if you're living with a person not appropriate to break up with them over text i think it's like these relationships at the very beginning that are serious mm -hmm. but like maybe not as serious as they could be mm -hmm. like if you're engaged with someone i don't think you should break up with no. them through text that's, that's like, terrible that's no, so terrible unless is. you're engaged within like the month and you're love bomb but completely. i do <laughs> yeah right i do like when I'm done with someone, like I just did it this morning, like you just broke up this morning. <laughs> Is that what you just said? Yeah, not oh, really. I wasn't really. What I kind of podcast am I on? Give me the tea. No, I wasn't really with them. Um, they love bummed me, by the way. Oh yeah. Anyway, so I like to text like you did this, 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 this because if yes. I'm having a conversation with someone, they typically interrupt me, or I get like I can't get everything that Your I've thoughts. been wanting to yes. say. Like I'll only say one thing before they have to say something back, mm -hmm. and I don't get everything out, and then I get manipulated to like stay, and then I feel bad. Like I'll be like, oh god. Well, that's because okay. you were like, like uh, with a narcissist. Yeah, clearly. of course. Um, yeah, I've been there, done that. Um, yeah, they're terrible people. So that's. No, I know. 
So in this scenario, yes, through text is so appropriate because it's like they're narcissists. They're like literally no, a, I know. a few screws are loose and you can't tell a narcissist they're a narcissist. No, They'll they fucking don't. Go it's crazy. A, it's, I feel like um, there needs to be more research on narcissism and like how to treat it because there's no yes, treatment. So there's a medication for everything, but there's no medication no tr- for for narcissism. Like, well, I, don't I think narcissism stems from a disorder, you know, um, so I don't I think it I, narcissism is like kind of built into your personality. So I think it I think narcissism could be bipolar and or borderline personality disorder or just some sort of disorder it comes mm-hmm. from you know implemented into one of those disorders because i just don't think it's just narcissism mm-hmm. you know i think it's just that's a piece of their disorder i've dated so many narcissists that i'm just now this year i really have like learned what it is because i thought they were just like self-centered people i could no. rant all day long about narcissism oh, me too. but oh me too girl <laughs> i i thought they were just self-centered people but i really feel like it's truly like a mental illness because there's been times where i've been like what do you mean do you there's a book called it's not you it's them it's, yeah yeah and I love, I love that book and it goes over there's actually seven forms of narcissism and like one of them is like the person that just makes you feel sorry for them like they can't ever do like anything right but you're the problem they're like woe is me you know there's there's seven different ones and and each one is to make you feel less though mm-hmm. each one of the yeah all of them all of them and they don't realize that they're doing it that's the thing it's like they literally i don't i always thought like okay they're just lying they don't think that they've done this or they know that they've done this they're just denying it they really don't know it's a it's a pathological liar too yes oh my god yes there's so many things that go into being a narcissist and they're so convinced so convinced and it's actually sad they're so convinced that nothing is wrong with them they're they're doing no harm no wrong so that's why like I honestly do genuinely feel bad for those people because there's they like, like a chemical it. imbalance. There's there's no fixing it, and they're they don't want to fix it because they truly genuinely believe there's nothing wrong with themselves, and you can't be that girl to f- help fix and them. And the odd thing about us, it's like severe low self esteem. But the person doesn't act like they love themselves. They're like so they're, so, they're so, confident, so confident. But the confidence comes from like such a lack low, of love from yes, the, that yes, they have for yes, themselves. Absolutely, and they don't see it. I'm like. You, they're filling a void for yes, sure yeah by obsessing over themselves it's yes, so weird it's so i could i don't ever want to be with another narcissist mm. i'm actually like really traumatized and like i get scared any type of like little signs of narcissism i'll be like i'll just run away same like if i try to tell you how my feelings are and you come back with you like yours with, and like, you don't even talk don't about even what know. i just said to well, you narcissists are emotionally immature. detached yeah immature. it's emotionally immature it's not even a jab it's like they just don't have the maturity level of a normal adult person that's the same age as them, they're emotionally immature. They don't have that in them. But I'd maybe it's to- like mommy stuff too. Oh yeah, they always, I noticed like the, with the guys that have narcissism, they have mommy issues. They have mommy issues. Like, Have you noticed that? Yes. Which is really weird, right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's almost like their moms love bomb them. Yeah. So hard. Oh. And my when little they, narcissist I'm thinking about it's right now. Because I'm a mom, I was like, I, don't, I hope my daughter never like, thinks that I'm like, I sure love all the time. And I, I'm all into like gentle parenting and stuff like that. But I think that the moms show them harsh love, you know? Yeah, no, this is what it is. Cause I've been around, like I said, narcissists and like the moms are actually abusive. They're actually abusive. Verbally, verbally abusive. abusive. Yes. And it's actually, that's why you feel bad for them is because like the moms will shit on them and make them feel like they're not good enough. And then to, cause the moms feel bad, bad. about it. And then they give them more like, love, love, baby you, love. I love yes. you, son. I yes. love you. Like you're so amazing. And then the next day they'll be like, and they'll be there in a heartbeat. Yeah, like, they'll be there in a heartbeat. They'll they'll call their moms and their moms will be there yeah. cooking breakfast for them the next day. Right, but and then, then the mom will be like, you idiot, yeah. here's your sandwich. Yeah, like torture Go to your wife. Oh, I love that mommy language. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> see that's not me i don't like do that to my like she's of course not. my daughter's yeah. a gem she's like kind-hearted she doesn't like if i yelled at her she'd probably cry she's mm-hmm. so intuitive and she's so Aww. like just understanding of emotions and stuff like that but i never i haven't yelled at her and i don't my need to she listens to me. me i mean you're you're an angel never once did my mom yell at me never once did i get grounded like when i tell you never once was i spanked i was never punished maybe that's like a bad thing <laughs> but i was never in trouble and i never did anything bad though really yeah just like regular stuff yeah but and for me i, I don't yell at my, I, I haven't yeah but hit showing her. your I don't disappointment is enough for some children like my sister they're not understanding they're yeah. children we're adults yeah. like what, what are we doing here like we're like yeah this is the one thing that i can actually agree on with things 
adapting and adjusting to time is like when we were younger that was that was what people did they spanked their kids they hit their kids it was acceptable it was Mm -hmm. trauma but that was the norm then and then we kind of evolved and realized like wait this is why everyone has trauma Mm -hmm. like it stems from our parents and and at least i'm talking about girls because i have a daughter but then these women get into these terrible relationships because of how their childhood no i know you know because they're so used to that that life and stuff like that not all and that's not yeah. like i can't fully blame it on parenting and stuff because other things happen and other triggers and stuff like yeah. that but majority of people the way they are is because their of parents course. i'm very big into therapy and stuff like that i'm trying to work through like some of my childhood stuff you know my early years of my life were just very horrible and so yeah. i have to work through that as an adult right and I, in an odd way i'm very thankful for it mm-hmm. i know that sounds bad but no like, it sounds bad but no it, i'm i'm super i'm the same way i'm yeah. super appreciative i have so much gratitude for everything that's you happened i'm scared and, to have a daughter i'm like or just a kid in general with how this world is i've never asked girl, anybody she that. is locked away <laughs> but she's like, locked away in like, my basement just, um you know like you did you weren't like oh my god like this is so terrifying i don't have any kids and i terrified. think about it and i'm like oh god i let am me get on birth control terrified <laughs> yeah but seeing that girl happy when I, at, for simple thing it makes you appreciate life she teaches me so much to just be Cute. calm understanding um check myself you know but seeing her something as simple as as uh, giving her a cookie and she's happy and appreciative of her fucking cookie and these other fucking people out here are crying because they, you know, they like whatever like their it, rolls royce broke down. yes exactly yeah. they're the rented out rolls royce book broke, broke yeah. down yeah. <laughs> yeah like i rather be around my daughter and get that pure pure genuine love and know pure genuine love that exists and it's right here in the palm yeah. of my hands, you know? So, yes, I am terrified because I am terrified because this, we're talking about the dating culture. I'm like, well, how much worse can this get when, as she gets older, you know? That's yeah. terrifying. No, and- it's going to get worse. I'm 20. I'm going to be 28. I said I wanted to have a kid at 30. I think I'm going to push it to 35 now and then check back in with myself <laughs> and see, like, where I'm at. It is very but, rewarding. No matter what happens, yeah. it's I'm going to so... use a sperm donor. Oh, perfect. Yes. Oh, I'm that's gonna, amazing. I, I love that. I froze my eggs, so I, my plan is to actually use a sperm donor. I don't want to have a kid with somebody. Like, I don't want to have a bad baby dad. I don't need help from a man. I'd rather explain to my kid that I bought sperm. I know that sounds horrible, but, like, I that I that went to horrible. a sperm bank. I really wanted to I'm have a kid. I'm so supportive like, of this decision. And then I don't want to have to explain to them that, Oh, your dad doesn't want to be around you. Yeah, because you don't know if you're going to have children with somebody and then you have children with some fucking narcissist and then they come in and out and then you're having to explain each time they show they love bomb your kids. It's love bombing in and out, in and out, in and out, back and forth because they did it to you. What a terrible person. Why explain it? No. Why even go th- down that rabbit hole? I, I'm so for this idea. And I'm super scared to pay someone child support because all of my exes, if I had kids with them, I would actually be paying them child support, even though like I thought we were making the same amount or maybe they even made more. But like people's financial situations I, you can wouldn't sa- pay change. child support if they have uh, full custody. If you have full custody? If you have full custody, you're the, you're the mom, your do. mother, and your baby. And that's not hard to do for a woman. Mm-mm. Oh, is it? <laughs> no. See, I don't even want to do that. I don't even want to go to court. Like, you want I don't it. even want to, It's like... your decision. It's your, it's your really? everything. Especially in the I state of California. Want... There's a lot of other states like that, but... Yeah, I'm scared. I have a, I have a few friends that, like they they don't either don't get anything it's just i don't want to pay child yeah support. you don't, don't yeah who wants support. to deal with all that messy it's bullshit anyways like, in general yeah, yeah. We're going to do the hotline questions, okay? I oh haven't boy. read these yet. Oh boy, so what does this mean? these are from fans. Okay. They could be really fun at times, actually all the time. What do I tell my best friend after her boyfriend used a remote controller vibrator on her in front of me? Recently, I went to play golf with my best friend and her boyfriend. While playing, she kept grabbing her crotch while her boyfriend was messing with his phone. Around nine or ten hole. What, what does that mean? There's that, 18 holes, so oh, okay, okay. halfway through. All right, well, okay. I was about to say, this is really turning. Like, <laughs> oh, how many holes does like, this girl have? I mean, yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> around, around nine or 
nine or ten holes, she looked at him and told him loudly, turned it off. I played dumb and I knew what was happening as I own a similar toy. I haven't talked to her since this happened. I feel very uncomfortable and I'm not sure what to say to her. I know exactly what, yeah, the, the thing that you put in your underwear that's like the magnet and then like there's a oh, remote. magnet. Yeah, it's like a magnet you put... <laughs> I, I haven't know. used it yet, but I have one of those. And I'm just, just like, how like, do I use this? I'm just like, don't feel like downloading an app. But wow. yeah, it's a thing you put in your, un- like, or I guess there's other ways of using it, but you can put it in your underwear. And one side is a magnet to stay in, like attached, yeah. you know, be- the underwear is in between. And it okay. goes in like that. And it's like this little like vibrator thing that can go on your like clit. And then there's an app that someone can use and adjust the vibrations of it. See, I don't, yeah, I don't like that. I don't like exposing your friends and people no, to for sexual sure. things if it's not a conversation before. Right, like, absolutely. Coming from the sex industry, like, I think it's like a sexual things need to have a conversation before, yes. like, in any Consent, type of way. Any type of, like, yes. Even if it has nothing to do, do with, with her, her, like, that's very not, it's I would actually not even be friends with someone over no. that. I'd be like, that was too much that's, for me. That's and, rude. Like, that's, the rude is an understatement. You could have like, went golfing yeah. on your own and done that. Done and had that. your little, like, absolutely. But the, the problem is, is they probably were turned on by the fact that, like, there was somebody she, else there because why female. else would you do it? Yeah, I was probably, like, a little kink. Yeah. That's probably why. I, otherwise, why are you horny? Like, no, you know, like, at golfing? Just golfing. Like, I'm fucking with your friend. I'm fucking sweating. Okay. Okay, like yeah. don't talk to me i'm i just missed the fucking putt and i don't want to be talked to or yeah. vibrated on so like no that would be like the least so of my worries is getting an orgasm on the ninth po- halfway through no way no way i cannot be your friend like you made me very uncomfortable with you know this whole vibrating situation yeah. the fact that you didn't even bring it to my attention and i had to sit there uncomfortable the whole time and figured it like figuring it out yeah. makes me not want to be your friend plain and simple yeah i mean i would be I a little bit more harsh that. than that like i've had guys like, you're over, disgusting. Like, like my friend was staying here for a little bit with me and i had a guy over and i was like are you cool even though this is my house like are you cool with me having sex mm-hmm. like in the in my own room like that was a conversation before you yeah. know like I would never just have someone over and then just start screaming loud fucking. Oh, you like know you're what saying I mean? you're, like, you were a couple and the guy was staying over? No, no. One of my girlfriends, she needed a place to stay. And so one of these really hot guys was in town. This is like the only day he's in town. Are you cool while you're staying at my oh, place? Oh, okay. If yes, I have, yes, yes. If I have him over, yes, it's like yes, 2 o'clock yes, in the morning. Yes. She's like, yeah, that's totally fine. But I would, I even asked in my own home. Yeah. Like, no, I always you, say Are you like okay that. with yeah. it? And if she said no, I would have totally been For like, sure. totally get it. Like, I don't want to hear you screaming either mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know you like but, you're and you insinuate things and you you warn you're like guys yeah. stay in my bed this is what's gonna happen yeah mm-hmm. i i do ask that too like i i she even again. helped clean up my place she was like i'll clean i'll I clean like, she, i thought you were gonna say something <laughs> else i was like she what no she, <laughs> like, she, you know, right? <laughs> no, she was like i'll clean oh, oh, oh that's so oh, sweet organize. that's a yeah, great I friend her. that's a great She's friend. A, i love her okay so next question is i'm tired of my boyfriend giving me horrible gifts i need him to do better I've been with my boyfriend for around five years now. In all aspects, he's amazing. However, his gift giving has been weak at best. Cheap jewelry, perfume I don't like. However, his last gift was the worst. He recently took a solo solo vacation as I didn't have time off work. It was my birthday last week and I had high hopes this year. All he gave me was a framed photo of him on vacation. Okay, sorry. <laughs> he gave a frame photo just of himself solely, or was it a oh. photo of them together? I'm guessing just a photo of himself on vacation. Shit, run. That okay? That's a red flag. Yeah. <laughs> I thought for a second it was gonna be a photo of them together, together. and I, I was gonna be like, "Girl, stop." I my one of my love languages is not gift giving. It's actually the opposite, and guys are gonna be upset because they all listen to my podcast. But I don't want gifts from guys because I, I feel like it buys my attention, attention. and bribe. I want one on one time. I want words of affirmation. So I can't relate to this in a way, but I have. So so many friends where that is so important to them. I think it's because they want the guy to pay attention to what they like. It's not necessarily right. like okay. if the guy can afford value it. value kind of thing. Yeah, see, I think that's a little bit of that too with this generation. Like, well, yes. But like, I think it's just women wanting to be heard that they. he was like, okay, she does really like this type of stuff. But personally, for me, I take cheap jewelry. I take me too. cheap perfume. Me too. I think it's the gesture. I'm all about like, I- I'll make a card. I'll make Same. something. I'll make dinner. Right I-, I will yeah. for a gift. And I'm just not into 
materialistic things me all my neither. stuff i i will buy for myself Same. it makes me happy because it's my dopamine it's me doing the shopping it's me mm -hmm. spending the money i get pleasure from gifting something that's sentimental and and mm -hmm. something that means means something that you thought about like okay he likes this he likes that i want to receive Thoughtful attention things, yeah and love and and getting to like more intimate quality time yes quality time i'd rather yeah. have that don't buy me a Chanel, a Chanel bag that looks like a bribe to me. That Same. looks like I should be with you longer. That looks like you that's feel like guilty. a gift. And you feel guilty. It's a yeah. guilty thing. I don't know. Being with a narcissist, you're just like, mm -hmm. <laughs> like you can't even handle like gifts and 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 all no, that I stuff. Know. And you're just like, I just. I was in a relationship where the guy didn't buy me not one thing, and it was my happiest relationship. I'm See. not gonna lie. We spent every day together. We spent all day together. Those are um, the best and kind. We didn't buy each other not. Well, I actually, I'm a big gift giver. That's the thing. So I give gifts. Oh my gosh. And I and I think it confuses people. But for this girl, giving a photo of yourself on vacation when you can you couldn't even go, that's rude. That would piss me off. If a man has a photo in, of himself in a frame, which I've seen a man have yeah. this run i think run. if he gave it as like a little necklace one of those what are they called those? oh a locket a like locket, a locket and it was yes. a photo of himself yes that's i would little, really like yeah, that honestly no, for sure in a fucking picture frame no and then what of himself what is he doing yeah. is he just <laughs> yeah right <laughs> what the fuck are you doing in this photo is this is it is his shirt off because you better fucking be even if you're a chiseled i'll be like that's uh, that doesn't seem like mm, straight I actually, now that I think about it, I had a photo of one of my exes when I was with him in a picture frame, and I would put it down every time I would have other guys <laughs> come over. And what? Well, no, it wasn't that. I had oh. other guys coming over or, that I was oh. cheating on him with. <laughs> and he, one time, the photo wasn't up, and he was like, "Where's the photo? Why is it gone?" And he knew instantly. He knew instantly. And I was like, "The picture frame broke." Oh, okay. I was See, like, I would be kidding. embarrassed. I'd be like, um, uh, "Well, I can't say I'm embarrassed because." I'm cheating You're on cheating. you. Yes, yes. Like, I'm that's... saying in a normal situation, if I had a, I wouldn't have this, but if I have a picture of my man and he's just him, just like standing what there. What if he's super sexy? I don't give a fuck. Then send me a sexy photo and a selfie. I'd be like, like this. Send me that photo. <laughs> I used to set, I used to set one of my exes as my screensaver and it was just a photo of him. That's different. And it was a live photo and I would press it like all day long and be like, oh. oh when like, you're love bombed. Yeah, he totally okay, love bombed yeah. me. He totally <laughs> love bombed me, but yeah. Yeah, because you're a love bomb. I say so break up with him though, girl. That yeah. doesn't sound like, I say forget like the cheap gifts because maybe that's all he can afford. But yeah. like the picture frame thing, I'd be like, listen, this is kind of. This is weird. This is weird. And it's it seems hurtful. like a beginning relationship, the way she's explaining yeah. everything. So it's like, just run. No, After five the, years now. Oh, he's five been, years. I've been with Jesus. him for five years Oh my years gosh, now. then why wouldn't you say anything from the get-go? Like, it's taking you five <laughs> years to realize this and say this and write a review, like, about him. Write like, a review <laughs> on like, Yelp. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, <away>. geez. <laughs> okay, I don't know what to give. I don't know what advice to give you at this point because you are, you're in it. You're, you're, you're in it. You're in it. You dug that grave. <laughs> Throw the picture away. Yeah. Or just, take the photo out and put a photo of you guys together and be like, thanks I would just for the frame. A, I would just put, like, a stick figure version of myself and right next yeah. to him just to like you know just make it cuter but yeah just make it cuter <laughs> <laughs> all right steph i love that you're easy to talk to for yeah. real and yeah. i'm gonna like i'm gonna come no i enjoyed with you. this we have a lot of like similarities I like know, i feel right? like Born on the i first. would love to get like more <laughs> intimate in the conversations but like we have like I know. Why yeah. don't you come back on sometime? Yeah, let's do it for sure. And I'm I really, I love speak on camera. I'm like so like that's why I hate being late because I'm like I have so much fucking shit to say. But yeah, like, yeah. Anything you want to plug besides the House of Heat? Um, House of Heat on TV. your Instagram. Yeah. All my handles are the same. It's Steph Me. So Steph Me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook. Okay. Uh, is that it? I think that's it for now. Okay. TikTok. You have a TikTok. TikTok. Yeah. Oh, yes. If you... Underscore Steph Me. Jeez. Oh, okay. Ugh. Damn it. Somebody needs to work on that for me. <laughs> somebody. Somebody took it. Yeah. Somebody took that one. But yeah, it's Steph Me on all social media platforms. I'm all over the place. And you have an OF, right? Yes. I do. Okay. Nice. Steph, and that's but... Steph Me as well. Nice. Yeah. I like to try to plug that for people. Yeah. Oh, I know. Is Steph me. Our Check saving it out. grace. Yes. Is it's, <laughs> it's, it's thriving right now. So good. Yeah. Yeah. Good for you. Mm -hmm. I love to hear that. All of it's doing well. Congrats. Thank you. It's a good place to be in life when oh, everything's for working sure. out. Everything's <laughs> for going, now. Everything, everything always goes well for yeah, me. Yeah. Good. <laughs> I love that. That's my affirmation of the day. <laughs> I love that. All right, Heartbreakers. See you next time.